this is Esther, and I run the blog thisfarmhouselife.com, and I'm so glad to have you in my greenhouse today. Now, today is a very rainy, dreary, cold day, and since we don't have a heater yet for the greenhouse, I don't have any plants out here. They're inside my dining room where they can stay nice and warm and continue to grow. But on the sunny days when it is warm, I do have green my greenhouse plants out here. And when we get a heater, then we'll be able to see if it'll keep it warm enough that we can do it. But anyway, that's not really what I wanted to talk to you about. I wanted to talk a little bit about gardening on a budget because I'm sure there are many people who have run into financial hard times and you're thinking, how can I even afford to buy plants and have somebody come till my garden? So I want to try to give you just a few tips to maybe help you get thinking about ways that you can make it happen. I feel like if we really want something, somehow we usually find a way to do it. So I have written down a few ideas and just some things from my own personal experience that I'm going to share with you today. So just sit back, grab a cup of coffee or tea, and let's just chat a little bit about gardening on a budget. So a lot of times we think about, you know, where am I going to get my plants or my seeds? And the one thing that I did last year, which I have, I think I said in another video, I do a lot of ordering seeds from Seed Savers Exchange. They're an heirloom seed company, and I just have had really great experience with them, and I really like ordering from them. So if you are feeling like, oh, I'd like to do some heirloom seeds, but they're expensive, here's one tip. Last year, they sent out an email, or maybe it was on Instagram, that I saw that they were having a 50% off sale. I don't know if other seed companies do this at the end of summer, but this is a great option. I bought pretty much all of my seeds for this spring. I bought them like last September or October, and it was like so nice that it was 50% off. Now, not all the varieties that I typically would buy were available, but there was enough that I could choose something different. And so that saved us a load of money, and it also, to be honest, it gave me a little bit of leeway where I could do a little bit of splurging and buy some things that I normally wouldn't spend the money on. So hopefully those things will grow and we'll have a lot of fun growing them this year. So you can buy seeds that way or you could um, even buy at your local Walmart or Lowe's. Sometimes they have seeds that are cheap. And again, it depends on if you're wanting to go with just organic or just how much you are wanting to go with like a more expensive variety. But check those places out if you are on a budget. They do sell a lot smaller packages sometimes. So it is worth your time if you're tight on money and you just want to have a garden. The other places I would check are like dollar stores, Dollar Tree, Dollar General. Those carry seeds and things like that. My other tip, which I have done, if you are wanting to order from a seed company and say 20 tomato plants are coming and you're like, I don't even have room for 20, see if there is somebody else that also wants maybe 10 tomato plants. And you can go together, split that packet of seeds, and save a little bit of money that way. And I have done that, and it's been a blessing, especially if you are only wanting a handful of those. The other, talking about dollar stores, um, we were in Mark's the other day, and I don't know where all Mark's stores are. Uh, in Ohio here, they're fairly common in this area. But I got this nice little trowel. It seems to be very sturdy for $2.99. So check out some of your discount stores. Mark's has like a section of um, closeouts. So check out your some of your discounted stores. I know years ago I bought a little trowel, something like this, at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And it was the best little trowel. I think my boys have played with it, so I'm not sure where it's at. Maybe it will show up eventually. But 
we also saw in Mark's um, shovels and rakes and hoes and different garden and yard tools that were fairly inexpensive. So the other option we were thinking of, because I keep saying, I want to get some of this stuff for our boys. You know how small children are, they want to be able to help you. And they think it's fun at this stage. <laughs> so those, some of those were inexpensive. They weren't really for children, but they had some of the like telescopical ones. And so you, it would have kind of grown with them. And so we may go back and get some, I'm not sure. And talking about dollar stores and some of these other places, don't forget to think about garden pots. A couple years ago, I was able to get these pots that you could stack and do like a tower garden. And those came from Dollar Tree. I'm not sure if they're still around. Of course, Dollar Tree isn't going to be the highest quality. But if you're needing something for a year or two, you can make it work. And it does save you a lot of money. The other area that probably a lot of people are thinking, I don't have money to get a tiller. I don't have money to have somebody come and till. Well, there are a few different options if you're wanting a garden. You can do it by hand. You can turn your sod over. That is a lot of work. My Probably my favorite option is taking a dark tarp, like a pretty heavy duty tarp that's dark, and just spreading it over, weighing it down. That will kill the grass and the seed that comes after. And when I have done it, it kills that grass, especially on a hot day, it doesn't take very long. But if you have like a couple really sunny days, you could get your that grass killed and that would really help whether you're tilling or going to try to do it by hand. That is a very easy thing to do. Um, I know when I've used them in my garden, like I've had them covered in the garden and let them sit all winter and then when I pull it back, that dirt is like super fine. It is amazing and I love that. It's an easy thing and you can reuse those tarps year after year. Um, planting in straw barrels. That is another option and I think that that would be a great option too. And of course you can always try to find somebody who can come and till or you know barter with somebody which I know a lot of people don't do much bartering anymore. When it comes to tomatoes, if you don't have cages, you can just stake them. And that could look a variety of different ways. So there are a lot of options that you can use. You can reuse pots. Um, a lot of times the little planting cells that you start your seeds in, I reuse those very often. Reuse the trays that those go in. Um, I've reused hanging pots for hanging flowers. There's a lot of different ways that you can save money and still have a beautiful garden and a garden that you can enjoy and just there's a lot of ways that you can get around and do something a little bit cheaper. So I hope that this helps you just to get your mind rolling and figure out what works for you so you can have a garden because it is a lot of fun and I just I love gardening so much I wish I could make everybody love it because I feel like it's it's just so good for all ages to just get out in the sunshine and have something productive to do so I hope that you are having a wonderful day and we'll talk to you soon don't forget to like the video and subscribe those things really help it's really encouraging and if you have any questions or comments just leave us a comment in the comment section and we'll try to answer it and see what we can do so hope you have a wonderful day thanks so much for watching see you next time